Hey everybody, Kusmos here, back again with Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. We have just completed the tournament successfully. And we're now heading along the Caravan Trail. Beware of those huge beetle-like creatures. They appear to be lumbering slow, but can charge a great distance across open ground to attack and pack a mean wallop when they do. Well, they are big fellas, aren't they? Make use of these columns and ruins to deny them a clear path to charge. Alright, that should be simple enough. And uh, that little red guy, I did in a, a quick patrol just to uh, clear out a wounded member. And they similar to some of the other ones that do the bounce thing beforehand. Give your reward if you be beat them quick enough before they flee. And their reward is AP, so... That has me very interested. Let's see, we're going to put him over here, I think. Her here. And we've got both of these as druids, so that should be fun. And when we have our ranged people, I think that should work pretty well. They should be able to get up top fairly quickly and easily, I think. So, let's see what we can do with that. Are right, we going to hit this thing? Let's see what kind of damage we do. Not great. Um, can I, what can I do with the multi-shot? Not to be useful. So, let's just do a reading shot over here. Maybe we can just kind of keep it out of the equation. We shall see. I don't know if he's going to actually be able to hit anything from up here, but at least he's not... Yeah, he can't quite hit. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Okay. We'll just end his turn up here. And, I mean, huh. I don't know if actually that's... I might want him to actually take his soul magic. Because I did just get an AoE haste. And I didn't really get to use it all that much. We're kind of keeping off to the side here. Oh yeah, I've got her back to uh, Templar for the time being. Uh, but she does have her ancient power, so gives her some decent options. Alright, let's see if we can do anything useful here. Not at the moment. Put him behind the rocks here, as was suggested. Oh, that's interesting. If they can't hit anybody else, they'll just target their friends to heal them, and... Well, I guess the resistance thing doesn't matter that much. So we're going to have to take those down very quickly when we do. Uh, let's put him sure, right up here. And... Maybe a slowing bolt would be good. Just to ensure it doesn't get a turn before we're able to kill it, hopefully. Adaptive evasion. Not sure how that works exactly. Gonna hop over here. D8. So can I do a collect pelt on it? Uh, no, I cannot. Let's just do a regular old attack and just take it down. It's a good 100 AP bonus, so pretty bloody nice. The problem is, if we've got to kind of stay back, that could be problematic. How 
about. Let's do a heal here. And we'll probably do a heal over for uh, Anadine as well. That should do. Can't charge me up here, right? I don't actually know. Uh, Rathal burst hit anything? That doesn't seem that great. Okay, these things take extra damage versus dark. That's nice. And again, we'll just heal here. And she'll stay in position. Okay. That one's in position. We can attack. They're coming after my uh, snipers, so... I'll fail to steal. Okay, let's see. We don't have a back, so... Let's see you with a silencing bullet. Seems like a good play. And come on up here. Um, I didn't see if he got silenced. So we'll see what happens. Presumably one of those worked. Alright, we've got... No, actually, what I want to do is come over here because she has the uh, kind of sideways slash going on. Not in rage, vicious slash. Yeah, that's it. Start getting some damage out there. Now we are kind of spreading our damage around. But her doing that kind of does help. Alright, so... If I Thunder Locust this... Uh, fire would actually be what I want to use. I may not need to use the Locust, though. You're a bit resistant to the fire, but if that's enough to kill this one... It is. It means I get some damage over there and a kill. Seems pretty nice to me. And we'll come over here and do a Wrathful Burst. It might be a little dangerous. Actually, let's... Okay, it's going to see if they had any particular weaknesses. But that's... I mean, I did do more damage to myself, but... That will go down. And I don't think I'm in a good position for it to charge me, so that's... Oh, okay. Then line up for a charge there, and the other one lined up as well. Ooh, okay. So I wasn't in a position where I could get charged, so that's not great. How much of a heal does he really need? Uh, probably not that much. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Hurting a little more up top than down below. Ooh, okay, he's in a... Very rough spot. Yeah, we might have spread a little more than we should have. However, what I... Uh, does he still have smart shot? Or smart cast? Let's see. We 
can you not shoot down that far? Let's pop down here and see what he can do. That's going to hit my guy, so we don't want to do that. Okay, let's back up then. Can I do it from all the way up here? Yes, I can. I had a 0% chance there, so let's hit the one we have a chance. Seems... Oh! It's actually a kill as well. Okay. That is important to know. And... Slung bullet has a chance. Let's see if it hits. And also if the slow hits, there it goes. Excellent. And... I think I'm going to have her focus rage here. Oh, no. She didn't need to do that. Yes, regular attack does it. And she can go ahead and pop up on top of this. Seems decent. Oh, oh. Okay, right. I forgot. That's pretty nice. What is Corrupted Blade? Uh, do we need to do that? We've got the Focus Rage. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, let's face this way. Get you up here. And we... Oh, we can't fire anything off. Let's see, we got... Remedy. Which will remove the uh, mute. Excellent. And let's go ahead and just... Uh, there's a chance he's going to get rammed here. We can get out of drain health. 55. I mean, she's going to get attacked, so... Hmm, still going to get hit. She's a bit low, so that's not great. And I'm not sure... Get her healer out far enough, but I'm going to kind of put her in a bit of a risky spot. Let's drop a bleed on this thing, maybe that'll distract it. I don't know. We did get a bit of damage, so that's nice. Alright, it hit her not too badly. And she's. Uh, a little low, but I... Well, she did just kill it, so... Are we in range of... This guy? And can we kill him? Yes, we can. So let's do that. Get some jammy fruits. Sounds tasty. So she's going to have to, uh, ooh, he doesn't have enough jump to get up there. I can probably stack him for jump. I might do that off camera or, uh, let's do free navigation and details. Go to tile 11, 8. Not that. Okay, go to there. Okay. Just wanted to see where it went. So I just need to be able to jump up there. That's what I need. Seems simple enough. Let's see, does he have... Uh, Nothing super useful. 
let's hit with a rooting shot down here. And pop him over here. Can he do a locust now? Yeah, that should take care of things. It's the last one, right? I used fire locusts before. I'm not sure if I have. All right. All right, we got a special bonus of a hundred, so that's really nice. Ooh, and he got bonus AP. So let's take a quick look. And what we can get? Siphon. He does attack plus mind damage and does third of that as MP damage that is absorbed. All right, sounds better than evade. I'm full up on uh, passives and counters and all that. So I'm not going to worry super much about it. Let's get him sniper shot. And she's almost full up. And she can learn a little bit of that. Sure, why not? I might eventually do something with him. We shall see. Okay, what do we got from Druid? Panacea and Thunder. Sounds lovely. Yeah, a lot of the actual abilities of this aren't that great, but honestly, I think double cast would be really nice. So we're going to do that. And his gunner is going quite lovely. And I'm going to worry about mass barrier. All right. And we do have some crafting. So let's see what's there. Gear, gadgets, and all right, components, of course. Got the Impala boots and Wayfarer treads. This is the right. This is a lot of jump, and this is some movement and some jump. All right, and the gadgets. Just the Healbot three thousand. So, what does he have on equipment wise? I mean, I could also. If I put the Toad Boots on him, he might be able to jump up there. I might have to try that at a later point. And here we can just patrol. There's three treasures in there. Wow. Okay. I will have to check that out. But I'll probably worry about that off camera. And next episode we'll head this way and maybe on to the gorge depending on what is at Old Bazaar. Alright, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and let me know something in the comments. But uh, until next time, catch you later.